And we are back with some more Final Fantasy 16. Let me continue where we left off. And yeah, last time we chopped off Titan's hands. Took it for ourselves. It's a bit crazy. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Um But yeah, I have a feeling his his hands will grow back. <laughs> Power of the icons and all that. But yeah, next uh we I'm not quite sure what we're doing next. How goes the story? Oh, I guess Largely we're encircled. trying to see where we he ran off to, so we finish him. Strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. But yeah, some no, unknown character days. came and saved Kuka by <laughs> pretty much knocking him out and carrying him away. I have a feeling it's going to be another Akon, or another Dominant. I'm not sure who, though. Um... What? Here? What? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Mm. Your poor people would surely oh. live in fear of you. <laughs> Why? You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> That is a relief. What do we do? Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A what? A guest. Guest? Trouble. This was a pleasure. You know, inside. Oh, so who is this guy? <laughs> Uncle Byron. Uncle Byron. Oh yeah, we just Hooray met him. How they find us? Tavern cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite yes. uncle is here. <laughs> favorite uncle's here. <laughs> so how do you find us? Oh, back at the other crystal. Uh, is this where Bahamut is? See the Imperial Court. Wait, isn't this? The Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept That's Bahamut right there. The matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Yeah, it's Still, mother. We must insist mother. on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Pretty sure it's bombing. And we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmix <laughs> empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. That one's a little kid. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. I wonder if he's supposed to sit in the other chair. Maybe it's her boy right here, but he's now being a baby. Let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. Dion's fire. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can. And once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Yeah, they want to wipe him out, huh? Oh, Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while his highness would, of course, prevail, 
There would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. Yeah, he lost hands. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, your radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. So we'll don't let it get there then. There will be losses, it uh, is true. He doesn't give a shit. Yet for every citizen who falls, nah. another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. He does not care. The Empire will live on. Mm, that's why eventually we're going to destroy it. Dion? Yes, sir. So that's Bahamut's name. Dion. It's with this flower. I'm assuming this is dead, right? Makes the most sense. Prepare for battle. <laughs> Sire. Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp and await my orders. If that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. Astrologers Orga. The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs uh -oh. over Prince Dion. It's whack. <laughs> well, I guess you can kinda of tell though. So he's, tales were true. He hesitates. To so just follow blindly, so you disappoint me, Dion. This bad. I'm not quite sure what her kind of like relationship is with Sylvester. Is that his daughter or? What on earth is Uncle Byron doing here? It's what Only the one way to find out. <laughs> what the hell? The little ones have been up to their own. It's just one thing after another around here. Uncle, what's he doing here? Ah, my dear nephew, how I've missed you. <laughs> how did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came. To learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosaleth the Port Isolde. I was. Aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? 
Oh shit! No. <laughs> I love how his eyes. You know, one's shut, obviously, because he had a cut, but. And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly, her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes. It seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then... Had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts. His hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, mm. and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Wretch. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning. As if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Canberward on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned, and where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Let's a go. Otto, Kuka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kuka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The lands around the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. If you have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalemil. 
Some call her the Desert Hare. Hmm? Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. All I know is the name. And that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Yeah. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh... What about your uncle? I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. <laughs> yeah. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. Well, yeah, Jill's not coming with us. She's uh, still recovering from last, uh, last time. Uh, I don't think there's any side quests or anything here. Oh, there's a new... Uh, Something at the blacksmith, so we'll see if something worth crafting. Who's this blue oh, there's blue blood. What do you reckon? It's got to make next. Life. What's that for, India? Grindstone. Oh yeah. Only plus five attack, but I'll take it. It lasts you a good while. It's not better. Not better. Eventually we'll craft this, Strix Layers. Bracelets. Anything else? Alright. It's going to find That's all we need. Finish the job. Get revenge for all the people we killed. All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? We shall. We shall. Come, let us away to adventure. Adventure. I feel a little weird without Jill. I was a young man when last I walked this path. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. All right. Riddle of the Sands. That's far. Oh, that's hella far. My neck is very stiff right now. Beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. True that. I'm not sure if it's worth fighting anything. Many years ago, when you were just a boy. You and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, falling like a babe. <laughs> Just embarrassing, uh, <laughs> out of stories. Who do you think those soldiers were? Alright. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's only halfway. Ah, there 
there she is, the good old Dalaville Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? Mm, what are we trying to do? Oh. We're trying to get a quick drink. Oh. Well. Strong toggle. The black chocobo. Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stonehair. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. <laughs> saddle sores. Shall we join them? With their butts. Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Yeah. Mm. Aww. <laughs> Torgal's like, dang it. I don't want to kill some people. <laughs> we go assassin style. He really looks like an assassin from Assassin's Creed. Oh, a bus in there and that sword looks pretty nice. Put a bus in there and that's where Gupka is. <laughs> He's like, what the? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do chocobo a fine soup. chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that, then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, girl! Coming! Girl. Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? <laughs> My pal, buddy old pal. Oh, there's some cheese and sausage. It's been a good action. Let's get some of that. Oh, where are you? Some random NPCs. Oh, is that? Joshua and his assistant lady? Yeah, I think so. Oof. Your Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. It's gotta you suck. only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. Oh, maybe this is how you do understand that. he gets swayed to betray the Imperials. Yes, your grace. It's by Joshua. You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Do you actually know her name? I forget. I just know he's been known as Margrace. That's Margrace's assistant lady. I really wonder how they came to know each other. I wonder if she knows Clive. So close. Shale. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead? Skin. Blockhead. I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker then. 
<laughs> Why do you say so? Talk so loud. Freaking uncle. Well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. <laughs> Dang it, uncle. I can't take you nowhere. <laughs> uncle. Sorry. <laughs> Oh. Oh, did she recognize us? Nope. She sees that they're all getting up and travels afoot. Can you walk, Your Grace? <laughs> yeah. What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. Yep. Dang it, Uncle. <laughs> Why you do this? You two are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Uh-oh. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Come on. Friend. Friend. <laughs> you just want to eat. I'm so hungry. <laughs> God damn, so you guys are eating. <laughs> All over his beard. <laughs> Here we go. Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. <laughs> uh, this is so funny. <laughs> Freaking uncle, you make me fight. Slay the enemies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, cool. A lot of bloody hides. Well, pretty sure more will come. Oh, whose knife is this? <laughs> He's still eating. Oh, uncle. Your trouble. <laughs> uh, well, the heck? Vice Miss, that soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> She's like, yeah. We'll see what she says to Joshua. Why don't we just go talk to Clive? Now's our chance. Your Grace? Honestly, you should just wait and not do anything. I'm pretty sure Clive is just gonna leave. There's more chance of running into him if they leave the inn or whatever. Feel Joshua. He the hell again. It's interesting that you put it there. Clive. I don't even know which room looking. How do you know?
For carrots. <laughs> he doesn't like carrots. It is nothing. Let's go. Doggo. Dog's bigger than us. <laughs> oh, you found out he's like a spirit of Fenrir or something. Cross wolf. To find Kupka before, we do now. The Rawlers said to themselves, their guest is in the fang. Oh. Lockdown? I guess ah, we're not to and beat up some road, buddies. And it's the only way from here to the fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not Kupka. accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the desert hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means, the wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Delamel is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's Fang anytime soon. Good day, my lord. What? Well, sorry. Oh yeah, we bought that before. What's this? For lightning lightning rod oh this is the actually i don't think that's the Thank ultimate, you for your ultimate custom. move who are we talking to oh you Light it for Gilbert's sake. You're up to bear, aren't you? anything i can help you with travelers allow me oh. my good man we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of port isolde we're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find uh. them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank oh, those. you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um... You wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. <laughs> what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? What you want? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Briar's I'll find kiss. a finder smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig, but he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. So we'll wait and see. Mummy, I want to pair with the crystal. Oh. Hello. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Luzina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. Uh. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. 
And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this photo knows. I don't know why, but I feel like we're looking for a woman. It might be mistaken. Are you further? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I help I you. I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Just look! Do you think we can trust him? Not nope. as far as I think. We have to fight people. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Don't play the fool. And save your character. Oh what? You're likely to lose it. Better get off me. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just gonna. Oh. But we didn't kill him for some reason. <laughs> I don't know how he didn't kill them. But oh well. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, he, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Oh, spread of the man. Further? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with a blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. Out. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, is she? Uh, yes, my lord. To the lock of leisure, then. Lock of leisure? You know what that means? To the lock of leisure. <laughs> I feel like she's gonna be hot. To a silken soft bigger sniff, good sir. My carpet. Is this the place? Who was Forge? The bride's kiss. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. Oh. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Also Sorry, true. Him. So it's not a her. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. What the heck? <laughs> Why are you so angry? So, because we whooped your ass? Alright. 
Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me Sid you're in need of assistance. Sid the Second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> 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 Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why, trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place <laughs> in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. <laughs> we might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet, even then, I had more good sense than a man, oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. <laughs> we were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. What's the trouble? Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Oh, because we have to go Until around then, to figure I it out. Good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them. Damn you! Damn your manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call <laughs> me? Greybeard. My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. Good luck, Uncle. All right. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. <laughs> Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men on the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well... Thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Uh, not that way. I didn't realize there was somebody where we kind of were. The juiciest meat. Warm from the oven. You wouldn't believe how much you gave me. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing. I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. 
I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. <laughs> Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. Let's see if that might inside of the problem. The most fragrant herbs and spices. A deposit. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. Mm. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. He'll probably be back at the inn by now. What was all that crashing and banging about before? It's you! The one who broke <laughs> all our furniture. Oops. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. Let me treat you. Are you going too far? Pretty flush these days. Where is he? Talking to a guard. Will this suffice as a deposit? <laughs> What's he doing? By the sense. A what? That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. Not here. What are you doing, Uncle? <laughs> this guy. Uncle. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kuka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystal I sought if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof. <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or what? so. What? A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. It's half a mil of That's gil. That's enough about my little Jesus. act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere and pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with the men, just as you arranged, and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Poppin Jay thought this Poppin would be Jay. difficult. It just goes to show, one should never underestimate a <laughs> Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. 
I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support if things turn sour. <laughs> <laughs> of course. You definitely know it's going to turn sour. Uh, genuine cactar needles imported from across the sea. Just one prick and your little sparrow will sing. <laughs> what? So what's that all about? Fucking men of the wrong. Oh, it's a chest. Oh, it's a doggo. Can we pet this doggo? Well, the only pet's orgo. Which I guess makes sense. We petting random dogs. It's a random person on the dock there. Gas. Yes. How do I get over there? Go to south gate. Okay, gotta take a right. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Do you think they'll be back soon? I need a new dress. Needed to a silky socks. The finest fabrics, fresh from the Get out my chocobo! Yeah, 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 yeah. I really don't like how there's no special chocobo music. Chocobo rising, writing music. Kick some ass. So you know this is not gonna go well. I'll take it from here. That's a shitload of crystals. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. Or what? You're buying from them. Who's there? Oh, shit. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion, and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. I like Did this. you get all that? They're in cahoots! <laughs> what? So it would seem. Oh, jeez. My lord! Then cahoots! What is the meaning of this? Double crossing dogs! They're not here to do business! Kill them! Kill them both! Oh, great. Oh, 
Get over here. More enemies. What's a chocobo? Nice. Well, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. <laughs> I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Gravy. Gravy. You were magnificent. A what? The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. <laughs> Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. It's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came <laughs> along, that is. Uh, mainly Clive, but... Uncle helped to uh, find out where they are, so... Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. <laughs> it occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. Clive. <laughs> So, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> What's wrong with Clive? I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been... Encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. <laughs> oh, dear. Is I really so obvious? Of course. And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, thank you very much. Greybeard. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Here, wear this. Oh, we get a patch. Uh, pretty cool. We get patches for pretty much all of these cities. Who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubal. And please, feel free to send one of my stolases back to your people. Tell them that. 
Rosina Dalamil is back in, back in bed with Sid. <laughs> Just don't kill the bird this time. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Yay. What else we get? Oh, another meteor, right? What if we can use this blacksmith to... Nope. I hear you and the master are working together now. Oh, there's a side quest Glad there. To have you on board. Side quest store. Perhaps Forge Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> Neither would I. Oh, wait. You're you Clive. Clive. Sorry, my mind was elsewhere. I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Soon to be former apprentice if I don't pass this test. Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't suppose you have any idea what he's on about, do you? I'm afraid not. Never mind. Thought I'd ask. It was that or pack my bags. I could give you a hand if you like. I know how busy the Brass Kiss has been, and that Lubor needs all the capable hands he can find. I'd be a fool to refuse. So, where do we start? Good question. If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. No way. There's this little riddle to keep in mind. The spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> Nothing is ever simple with that man. The way I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lupo's puzzle. We need information. The more the better. You're right. There's no point fumbling in the dark, I suppose. Now, who to speak to first? Well, there's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I think we have a plan. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll talk to every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher and anyone else you can think of. All right. Good luck. Let's hope that someone says something useful. All right. <laughs> the awkward walk away. Uh, I don't know if there's any other test side quest here. Oh, it's right there. I better get to it. Oh, it's two of them. There's a lot of side quests. Welcome, sir. What can I do you for? A question, if you don't mind. Question. I need to know what makes a good carving knife. You a blacksmith or something? Something. Something. I suppose. Fair enough. Knives, is it? First and foremost, it's got to hold an edge. Most knives will make it through fat no problem, but sinew dulls cheap steel in no time. Give me a blade which can slice through anything that crosses my chopping block, and I'm a happy woman. So a knife that stays sharp. Hmm. Makes sense. Oh, never mind. It's the same quest. years of toil every coin I've ever earned is tied up in this place Are you all right the baths are closed 
Leave me be. On second thought, perhaps you are just what I need. Might your services be for hire? That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The water's turned scalding hot and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you, go to Dusnoff Terraces. Tell me what you find there. Oh, this is a separate right. side quest. I'll go and take a look. Wonderful. It's not far. Leave the market by the south gate. The smell of sulfur will guide you the rest of the way. These baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very life, is at stake. All right, what else we got? Um, speak to townspeople. So somebody else I can talk to in this area for the first side quest. I'll be asking for you again. Not quite sure who though. Ah, they've opened the gate. Lubor was true to his word. Needed to a silken softness. It would make a fucking Is it true what I'm hearing? Oh, hearing? they're fine. No, I was just walking the wrong way. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Oh, this guy. What is it? Minomu Vichata. Sorry. Do you mind if I ask your trade? Hunter, why? I have a question. Can you tell me what makes a good carving knife? I assume you use one out in the field. Oh. Um. Has to be able to put up with some punishment. Can't be dealing with a brittle blade, not while I'm on the hunt. If your knife snaps every time you use it, you'll be spending coin as fast as you make it. Times are hard enough as it is. Thank you. I won't keep you any longer. All business, eh? Man after my own heart. So, a carving knife should be hard wearing and hold an edge. Hardly a revelation. <laughs> Let's hope Sava had better luck than I did. Sweet incense! What was Just look at the deep! Whites and buds! So, how'd it go? You learn anything useful, or should I be looking for a new trade? Only that a blade should be durable and stay sharp. But I don't see how that relates to the spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> I didn't have much luck either. All the cook said was that he needs his knives to be light. Too heavy, and they do his shoulder in. So we're no better off than when we started. Perhaps Lubor didn't mean anything with his Dalamil remark. But that can't be right. I've bandied enough words with a man to know that he chooses them carefully. No. We must be missing something. Something right in front of our noses, most likely. No doubt you're right, but I have to make a start soon. I can't put off making this knife forever. Agreed. Forever? Luba wouldn't like that much. Right. I've been trained to work iron. The cheap stuff, mind. But it's hardy enough if you don't hammer it too thin, and it sharpens up nicely with a bit of effort. Trouble is, it's either durable or it's light. Meaning someone is going to be disappointed. Forge Master Lubor, probably. Is there no one else you can turn to? Someone who knows their metals, perhaps? Eh, 
The other apprentice is no better than to help me with my test. But... Maybe there is someone I could turn to. A merchant. A favourite of Forge Master Lubor's, who sells metals to tradesmen passing through the Valkroy. I bet she'd know a thing or two. Oh, what? It's left. There's a way out there. I can't even teleport. Uh, I think I should finish this one first. Since I'm not 100% sure if I can really get there really fast. <laughs> uh, wait, how do I get there? Need to turn around and head out. Chocobo, please. Let's go. They really need to have a chocobo song. <laughs> What's missing? Jump off. You deserve a rest. Any luck? Or will you be needing help with your bags? Well, I asked her, but... Oh, you tell him. If you're looking to make a knife that will impress a master like Lubor, there are options. They're just not that viable. Featherlight adamantite knives will get passed from generation to what, generation, what? <laughs> never needing so much as a lick. Adamantite knife. But adamantite ore is unique to ash, so it doesn't come cheap. And it's beyond my skill to handle. Unique to ash. Are there any materials unique to Dalamil? Something which could be mixed with iron to refine it. Make it lighter. What are you getting at? You said that Lubor trained you to work iron. Then that's what he'll expect you to use. But he would have known that it would either be too heavy or too brittle for a carving knife. Perhaps his Dalamil remark wasn't a riddle, but a hint. If it's cheap metal you're using, then there's always limestone, I suppose. Folk first settled Dalamil to get it in mineral deposits. And if you know the trick, it can be melted down in the furnace to drive out impurities from low-quality iron. Bloody hell! That must be it! I don't suppose you know the trick, do you? It's hardly my speciality, but I've been around enough blacksmiths to know how it works. Looks like I've got some learning to do. Clive, I, uh, hate to ask after all that you've done for me, but... A limestone? Fine. I can hardly abandon you now. Besides, I want to know if this is the answer to Lubor's little riddle. Lubor. I can't thank you enough, Clive. You'll have no trouble finding limestone over in the terraces. The place is bloody made of it! Then I suppose I'll meet you back at the forge. Right you are. I'll see you shortly. So, do you crush it up, or just throw it in the furnace? Oh, what? Alright, where are we going? Oh, we gotta teleport back. Well, this is no good. I was hoping to get out of the heat. Is it true what I'm hearing? The men of the rock are cutting off my carpets. The most fragrant herbs and spices. Needed to a silken softness. Oops. Lights and buds! Sweet incense! We should get going soon. Do you have water? Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubo? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kuka. Finish. Just as I thought. 
then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Telmachi and Walut are allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. A man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. Oh. It's a bit care about us. I've lost one Sid already. Mm. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Ever. Not before Kuka does, anyway. Oh, true. Well, so long as you have a plan. Drake's Fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? I think there's no enemies to fight. So usually there's enemies like guarding the material. Like those guys over there. One rock looks a lot like another. Right. Well, that's cat far. But hopefully this. Uh, that should Some probably go ahead and grab it. Come on, girl, the gate's open now. We can press grab on. the, uh, Tell me you put down other side quest over here. What the hell are those? Uh, I didn't go far enough. So what are those things? They're bombs. Red three desert roses. I really should not buy any crafting materials unless I really know I need to get them. Right. By the flames. Fast bomb. The heat. Oh, I really thought I had Phoenix out. Ow, ow, ow. I don't like the coronation. I don't like the uneven surface. Oh shit. I love how he has a little crown on his head. Oh. Okay. Snatch him up. Oh. 
Wow. Uh, the ground screwed me up and now. Oh, that was done. you need but I hope this is enough you are one of the good ones you know that you and that merchant boat she's got quite a gift for teaching that one now time to see if limestone is the secret weapon we were hoping for Oh, it's like a very archaic dagger. That'll do, I reckon. A knife forged from the very rocks of Dalamil. Her spirit, Her if you spirit. will. It's a fine-looking blade. <sighs> I only hope Master Lubor agrees. <laughs> that sounds like my cue. And just as well. I was getting tired of waiting. I'm not sorry, Forge Master Lubor. Let's take a look then, shall we? First things first, Safa, do you think this is a carving knife worthy of the fine people of Dalamil? I... I'd like to think so. Uh, but, but what do you think? What do I think indeed? It's sharp-ish, Ish. but it won't last long with hard use. And it's heavy, heavier than it should be. You might not think it just to hold it for a moment, but sell that to a cook and you'll never hear the end of it. It looks like someone paid a visit to the terraces. The limestone was a step in the right direction, granted, but one that still leaves you short of the mark. Oh. And I was so certain I had it all worked out. I don't know who you found to teach you that little trick, but it certainly shows initiative. Next question. How much do you think I would charge if I'd made this? Well, if it took you even a fraction of the time it took me, I would say you could demand a heavy purse. Heavy purse. And who would be able to pay that? Hmm? The butcher? The yep. hunter? The cooks over at the inn? Dalamil is home to humble traders, not wealthy lords and oh. ladies. Rule number one in any business, Sava, know your customers. Yeah. Yes, Forge Master. This is just about passable. <laughs> but only just. I'd say you're worth keeping around a little longer. Starting tomorrow, you'll have an anvil of your own. Ooh. I will. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes. I was wondering, uh, what would you do if you were asked to forge a carving knife? i do what I always do. Ask who it's for. If it was for the butcher, I'd make sure it holds an edge. For the hunter, I'd make it as tough as Titan. For the cook, mm. light as a feather. And for the nobleman, <laughs> I'd make it cost an absolute fortune. Fortune. Goes a master, all right. <laughs> it looks like congratulations are in order. Yes. I couldn't have done it without you. So much for the Forge Master's riddle, though, eh? The spirit of Dalamil had nothing to do with limestone or anything much at all. 
Meaning, I had you <laughs> run around for no good yeah, reason. Of course. You've passed your test. That's all that matters. You'll have a forge of your own in no time. And when I do, I'll craft you the finest carving knife you have ever seen. I'm rich. I have 100k. 10k. Alright, let's turn in this one. And then we'll go for the main quest. I was hoping we'd be seeing you again. The baths grow more bearable by the moment. It won't be long now before we are back to business as usual. I'm glad to hear it. Now, tell me this. What did you find at the terraces? What threatened to make me a pauper? Pauper? Not what I expected, that's for certain. <laughs> Bombs. You tell a fine story. That's not to say I don't believe you, though. Creatures made of flame, eh? That's something due to worry about. But I burdened you with my worries enough already. Here, a small something by way of thanks. Right, it's high time I got back to work. With a little luck, the day might yet be salvaged. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, it's got a tight. I can actually go back to Sid and uh I don't know, Sid, Blackthorn. And get that one thing crafted. Uh we can do that right now. Oops. I actually never pressed that button before. Let me go ahead and get that crafted real quick. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I was like, where am I going? Black Thorn. Low blood. I think this barely increases our stats, but. What's that for, Uh. This one. Well, actually, increases by quite a bit. It lost you a good while. And. Uh, yeah, let's just go here. And let's go to the main well, quest. This is no good. Is it true what I'm hearing? The finest fabric! The most fragrant herbs needed to a silken socket. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably take a from the pretty nice break in a little bit. So I ordered pizza again. <laughs> we should get going soon. Yeah, I feel like paying for uh, delivery, so I'm gonna have to go pick it up. It's not even that far away from my house. Faster. Let's go do that. Then we'll come back and. I wonder if it if this mission actually ends Koopka. Let's f that guy. <laughs> Enough bad things to us. Oh, that road is closed off. But yeah, uh, we're supposed to go through the mines because it's less guarded. Oh, I see that my HP's filled up, even though we took pretty big damage from the bombs. Jobless activated. All right. There it is, Drake's Fang. Cuckoo will be hiding inside. Along with goodness knows how many guards, 
all on highest alert. You'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. Be careful. I will. My uncle's not joining us for sure. At least he shouldn't. He doesn't have the superpowers. Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. For what? After what befell at Phoenix Gate uh -oh. and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. Was he abandoned Clive and all them? I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. How much he could have done, sorry. though? That's the thing. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take it back. Take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed. You, however. Yeah, it's no. been 13 years. Or 18 years, actually. Forgive me, but I cannot. The whole, like, I lifetime fight almost. To build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. For goal. Only later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. Oh, yeah. He would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Yeah, it's because his dad was a sympathizer. By ruling Rosaria. But by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy. I am certain my cause is just. You know, I actually kind of understand how... You really are just like him, you know? How destroying the crystals will actually give more favor towards the bears. Thank you, Clive, because, for coming back. And to pretty me. much without the crystals, I am proud to people call you like nephew. normal people can't use magic. So all the bears will be the ones that have magic. Well then, this is where we must part ways. Mm, which again is still Wish messed me up because <laughs> my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. So having. The ability to use I magic to his coffers and prove myself without crystals is already merry band. <laughs> a very valuable then, trait, but boy. of course everyone shuns Till them then. for being different. Go safely, uncle. And you, nephew. Um, we have much to catch up on, you and I. I should expect you to regale me with the <laughs> tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> you can regale me too, Torgo. No. <laughs> such a good boy. So big. I couldn't imagine I having such a big dog, <laughs> to be honest. Kuka. All right. Oh, that was it for that little thing. Uh, kind of sucks that I ordered the pizza to be ready by 11.15. But I know, like, starting now, I'll be interrupted. Oh, well. We just had to go as far as we can, and then, uh, yeah, whenever time hits, we will break for pizza. Yeah, this is isn't this Dragon's Fang? Yep, he has hands, but he can't use them. He only use the punch. Yep. What is this? It's that phantom pain. What is that? Got a red to me. 
<laughs> I was like, what do you think he did to you? You were there when it happened. Out of my sight, witch! <laughs> yeah, it's not Bahamut. That's the... That's the guy that, uh... I'll tear you <laughs> limb from limb! Peace, Hugo. The table shan't hurt you Lord any Commander longer. of the Rose. <laughs> he sought to humiliate me. Me! If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead! You truly believe you would have triumphed had the battle continued? Titan would have ground him into dust! And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! <laughs> you weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. Oh. You mock me, Harbert. Oh yeah, can he still use his powers? Oh, got him. <laughs> it just tripped at it. Do you see, Hugo? Now he's a little baby. You are weak. <laughs> <laughs> but so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. See, I wonder if this guy is a dominant himself, must I do? or is he just, again, he's, what, Please, captain of the Royal Knights? I'll do anything. Just tell me. Well, there's a crystal. The heart. The what? What of it? A mother crystal's heart is the most concentrated source Harbard. of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But then, you are no ordinary man. <laughs> Rub his head. Rub his head. Clive Rossfield stole your power, but others have suffered a similar fate, and still managed to find the strength to conjure their icon. He's just talking about, like yeah, Benedict. Is he the guy who took her head and gave it to him? She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. I actually think that is exactly who took her head and gave it to Hugo to incite all this drama. Because, yeah, now he's telling him about all this. Just wandering around like a little lost child. Oh. You feel it? Uthos is here. Oh. Very well. It shall be so. Hmm. He can sense. You may leave everything to me, your majesty. Oh, what? Those are those beans from the aether. Drake's fact. Yeah, <laughs> it smells like sheet. Oh, dead things. You. <laughs> Gross. Oh no. Who the hell? Is that an orc? These orcs. It's gross. 
Get the hell out of these things. Orcs. Orcs. They are orcs. It's wild. I don't think we actually see them in here. I think there were orcs in older Final uh, Fantasies. But I haven't seen them in like more recent ones. Or maybe I just don't remember. Anyways, uh, I guess we'll do this fight and then we'll break for pizza. Alright. The beast and part of the Waluda army now. Beasts. How the hell did that happen? See how we're. Oh, they're just as weak as. <laughs> Regular enemies, actually. No more. Oh. No, I was kind of hoping it was actually going to be a, a challenge. I right, maybe we'll encounter one more battle before going. I don't think. Where was? Taking over the entire mine. Gross. Squishy. Doggy over here. Get your dog out of here. So much for the men of the rock. Dalmechia's finest. It can't mm, beat uh, orcs. <laughs> this just goes back to the like Warcraft. Humans versus orbs. Push. They really kind of disappoint me, actually. <laughs> Because you think they'd be a little more buff or tanky compared to just regular enemies. But they're pretty much the same exact way. Man, we're getting so many like things. I really wonder what all these crafting materials are gonna be for. This probably be a good last fight before we go. Too slow. Alright, nice. Good 
fight. Uh, let me just loot this room. See if there's anything. Door. I should have big encounters coming soon, but you know, we can take care of it next or after I come back. Right, yeah, let me. Oh, let's open this chest. Ooh, we have a lightning, lightning rod. I'm pretty sure lightning rod is this, isn't it? No, it's judgment. Okay, never mind. Take it back. I don't really like it. I have a 1600. Let's learn it's not mastered though. I do want to master it so it increases damage or like damage potential. Uh, upgraded. Oh yeah, I pretty much never want to master anything. Because mastering things just allows you to use that skill regardless on which summon you have uh, equipped or icon you have equipped. I'm not even using that. I think I wanted to just go ahead and save up for that. Last limit break. Upgrade. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and save. Take our break. I can't save. That's okay. Wait, I'll just go ahead and take a break. So I'll be back in a little bit.